Hey guys, today we'll be talking about my absolute favorite print-on-demand resource, and that being Pixabay, which we'll go to right here. And if you're a subscriber to my channel, this may sound familiar, and you would be right. Uh, one of the first videos that I created was about Pixabay, but looking back at it, it does not meet the quality standards that I would like associated with my channel, so I'm remaking it, in large part because I, again, do believe it is the number one resource for print-on-demand sellers. So let's go ahead and get started like me and you have little to no creative skills, you may think print on demand is not for you, but that's where Pixabay comes in. It's an extremely helpful site and there are a lot of free commercial use images or as you can see here, royalty free stock that you can use for print on demand. Obviously print on demand is a very uh, creative feature and if you're artistic you have an advantage, but for people like me we go to places like Pixabay here and then we select either illustrations or vectors. Uh, illustrations actually include vectors. So uh, as you can see here, these are a lot of ones that we've looked at in our live streams, a lot of niches here. So you can just do something like fishing. Let's go here and search for that. And then how many results are there? Let's scroll down. 3,144 free illustrations of fishing. Of course, you would need to look for things like a transparent background, make it easier to throw it on a shirt, or if you want to use it as you know an aspect in your design and also more importantly than that is the license which we will go over in this video as well but basically if it was uploaded prior to 2019 you're good to use it as is if it was uploaded after january 1st 2019 uh, you'll need to make changes to it if you want to use it on your print on demand i change most of what i'm looking at or what i use anyway so in my case, it's not a big deal. I change them to set myself apart, and I just do that in GIMP. It's like a free Photoshop software, free photo editing software, which uh, if you've seen my other videos, I kind of go through step by step what I'm doing in my design videos, particularly the Design With Me uh, playlist. I don't know if I actually have it in a playlist, but the Design With Me videos go through that, and I show you what I use most frequently in GIMP. But this is not a GIMP video. Let's go ahead and take a look at Pixabay. And this one is 3000. So let's start with, I don't know, let's go to the license. Where are we? License right down here. So the license empowers creators and protects their community. They want to keep it as simple as possible. So here's an overview. All content on Pixabay can be used for free for commercial use and non-commercial use across print and digital except in cases mentioned in what is not allowed. Attribution is not required, which I think is huge. I don't like to attribute sites that I get um, my artwork from. I don't know. You can, you can still of course credit Pixabay or the artists themselves, but this just makes it easier. You can upload it without worrying about the attribution at all. And then you can make modifications to content from Pixabay. And I would say, I would go a step further and recommend making changes to content from Pixabay. So. Do, do not redistribute or sell Pixabay content on other stock or wallpaper platforms. Do not sell unaltered copies of content. Don't sell an exact copy of a stock photo for print on a physical product. And that is where the change comes in. Prior to 2019, you could use this. So, you know, December 2018 and earlier, you would be able to use them on a physical product unaltered. So uh, we'll see if we can find the old license as well and take a look at that. Uh, I may need to rewatch my old Pixabay video to find that because I thought it was listed right here, but clearly it's not. And then do not portray identifiable people, identifiable people in a bad light or in a way that is offensive. I think that's more for people that upload to Pixabay. Although if you're selling print on demand on Amazon Merch, as you know, they don't allow that anyway. So that's really not an issue right down here. And then don't use content with identifiable persons or brands to create a misleading association with a product or service. Again, you can't do that on print on demand anyway, so that's a non-issue. So I'm gonna jump off here and see if I can find that old license so we can go over it and look at the changes that have been made. So while this isn't from Pixabay, this goes over the changes to the license. So this says, around the beginning of January, 2019, Pixabay changed the type of license they apply to their content. And prior to that, they were using the Creative Commons license, which dedicates work to the public domain. So you could use pretty much anything on their site for any reason, even commercially. Obviously, you'd want to stay away from trademarked and uh, copyrighted images, as always. And then 
This license does that by enabling owners of copyright or database protected content to waive those interests in their works so anybody can use them for any purposes without restriction under copyright or database law. And then they created their new license called the Pixabay license, which we just went over. So we don't need to read this part here. And then you are be able, you will be able to use the images uploaded pre 2019 that have the old Creative Commons license attached to them. But just be careful after 2019, make sure that you do make changes to those. And yeah, as it says here, Pixabay is a free stock media website as we went over already. So there you go. There is the old license and the new one. Let's actually head back to Pixabay and I'll show you where you can find that. We're gonna go up here to phishing and instead of all images, we're gonna to go to illustrations here. And let's just select, I don't know, this trout here. And as you can see, the checkered background means that that is a transparent background, which is awesome. That means you can download it and just use this image itself without having to remove the background. And this was uploaded on April 4th, 2014. So you would be able to use this trout for whatever reason commercially. All you would need to do is click free download. And then if the vector graphic option is there, I always select vector. And then when I upload it into GIMP, I do like 4,000 by 4,000 uh, or 4,000 by whatever this one takes. And then otherwise, if there is no vector graphic available, sometimes it's not there in the list. I go with the largest PNG I can find because then it's already as big as you can get it and you lose less quality when you scale it. So let's actually go ahead and download that. And then we'll just download the vector as well and I'll show you guys what I mean. So I'm gonna open GIMP and I will be right back. Okay, so here we are in GIMP and I am open, opening up the downloads folder and let's go ahead and start with the non SVG. So this is the 19 by 20 by or 1920 by 860 was it? As you can see, it only takes up X amount. Uh, it's a little under half of our template. So what you would need to do is just scale it up. And then you lose just a tiny bit of quality. I mean, that's not a bad quality loss. And then let's bring the SVG in here. And it will actually prompt us. So with let's go 4000. That might be a little too tall, but let's go ahead and bring that in. Okay, so that's not just the fish, that's the entire SVG. So it looks like we can go, honestly, about double that. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and bring it back in here and let's go 8,000. There we go. So there we have our trout and, actually, I think I like the PNG one better here. Uh, looks like there's a little quality loss in the uh, SVG. So why is that transparent? That is new to me. That actually shouldn't be happening. So resolution 90, let's go 300 per inch and 8,000 again. And it's transparent. So I guess you can ignore what I just said about the SVG. Uh, that's really weird. Don't know why it's transparent there. Uh, <laughs> that's very unusual. So in this case, you would want to go with the PNG because as you can see, the fish itself is filled out here. So uh, that's just an example. I usually go with the SVGs. No idea why that was happening here, but it's something to be aware of. If the SVG looks like that and it's transparent, go ahead and download the PNG as well and see how that looks. So let's go over an example and we're gonna go with this duck. It'll actually be the same one as we did in the last video. So we're gonna go ahead and take this duck here as you can see, it's a transparent background, and this was uploaded in 2014, so we can download it. We're going to go vector graphic, and I'm going to move this over here, and is it done downloading? There we go. Bringing the duck here, go 4,000 by 3,000. There we have our duck, but it's cut off. I am having issues with GIMP today, apparently. Uh, this is unusual. I apologize about that. So... We're going with the PNG, and I just downloaded it on my other screen. We're just gonna drag it in there, and let's go ahead and make our duck a little bit bigger. A lot bigger, I guess. And then, just gonna move this down here. And normally what I would do is alignment and center, but since I don't actually plan on uploading this one, you know what, we'll do it anyway, we'll center it. 
And I'm going to export this, just file, export as, and then I'll meet you over on Amazon Merch and see how easy it is to upload. So here we are on Amazon Merch, and as you guys know, or maybe you don't, uh, if you're new to the channel, all you would need to do is go up here to create, to create your design uh, or your products with your design. And I have the duck on my desktop here, so I'm just going to drag the duck onto drag and drop artwork here. And then it'll upload on all products. And what I do, for those of you who haven't seen these videos before, is I select everything in the US and UK by default. So then I upload to all of these products. And then I wait for auto uploads, which is usually on the standard t-shirt across other marketplaces. So I know that it is trademark free. Plus in that case, there are automatic translations. So I don't need to translate myself, which is really nice. So as you can see here, it uploaded onto all of these products. And then of course you can make changes like with the zip hoodie, the zipper goes right down the front. Let's see. Yeah, you can see that on there. So then what I do is I actually go over here to the back and I'm going to go back over to my duck on my other screen. Then I just upload it on the back. You can do those individually product by product. So there it is. Now it's on the back. If you click front, there's nothing there. Uh, sometimes I do that with the pullover as well. If I don't want it on the front, I would click that X or if I want it on the front and the back, I would drag that to the back as well, which of course increases your base cost, but not significantly. So there we go. This hoodie has it on the front and the back, and that's all there is to it. Uh, this one we know was pre-2019, so we can use it as is, which means we can just upload it straight to Amazon Merch like this. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video added value, and I'm sorry if you'd seen it before. And oh, I just got another review. I was at 4.6 out of 38. Now I'm at 4.6 out of 39, uh, or from 39 reviews. So it was either a four or a five star, which that's good with me. And um, one thing I don't like about Pretty Merch is it doesn't show you the most recent review. That's something that uh, Productor seems to be a day behind on. So tomorrow I'll find out what that review was and on which product. So anyway, what I started to say was thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video added value. And if you're a return viewer, thank you guys for watching. And then if you're a new viewer, I really hope you enjoy this, find it useful. And I'd really love if you liked and subscribed to my channel because I bring you content like this that I hope helps you make more sales with print on demand. And that's what this channel is about. It's to start and scale your print on demand business and make more money in the process. So that's all I had for this video and I will see you next time.